Welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about TGF beta signaling pathway and TGF beta signaling animation. So we have two sections to the video. First, we'll talk about the TGF beta signaling pathway basics like TGF beta signaling molecule, TGF beta signaling receptor, and then we'll talk about the TGF beta signaling animation. TGF beta is known as the transforming growth factor beta, the full form of TGF beta, transforming growth factor beta. And this is one of the most potent endogenous negative regulators of hematopoiesis in our body. And it actually helps in proliferation, differentiation and function of many type of lymphocytes, macrophages, dendritic cells in our body. So this TGF beta signaling is well related and regulated to our immune system. So let's begin. Some basics on TGF beta signaling. The signaling molecule used here is the transforming growth factor beta. The receptor type used is the TGF beta ligand which binds to three isoforms of TGF beta receptor known as TGFBR. TGFBR1 and TGFBR2 are both serine thionine and tyrosine kinases but TFGR, TF, TGFBR3 does not work or does not have any kind of kinase activity. They are all single pass serine thionine kinase receptors that belong to TGF beta receptor family. They exist in several different isoforms that can be homo or heterodimeric in nature. Homodimer means same type of twice and hetero means different type twice. The transcription factors used in TGF beta signaling is known as MAD, SMAD protein. The full form of SMAD protein is suppressor of mothers against decapentaplegic. The role of TGF beta signaling is to regulate diverse cellular processes including cell proliferation, differentiation, apoptosis, cell plasticity and migration. And its dysfunctions can result in various kinds of disease such as tissue fibrosis. The TGF beta in the presence of interleukin 6 drives the differentiation of T helper 17 cells which can promote further inflammation and augment autoimmune conditions in a person's body. Now let's talk about the TGF beta signaling animation and TGF beta animation process. For that we start with the cell membrane on the top and this is nucleus. So let's talk about the receptor. This is the TGF beta receptor, TGFBR. And here comes the TGF beta signaling molecule. And the moment TGF beta signaling molecule binds to the TGF beta receptor, it gets phosphorylated. Once the phosphorylation of TGF beta receptor is done, then phosphorylated cytosolic side of the TGF beta receptor is going to activate a RAS protein in the cell cytosol. Then this RAS protein is going to activate RAF protein, which is a kinase. This RAF is going to phosphorylate and activate MEK1 or 2 in the cytosol. MEK kinase is going to further phosphorylate and activate ARC kinase 1 or 2. And once ARC is active, then it moves inside the nucleus. The phosphorylated form of ARC 1 and 2, which is the active form of ARC, is there in the nucleus. On the other hand, the phosphorylated cytoplasmic site of TGF beta receptor is going to phosphorylate SMAD proteins like SMAD2 and SMAD3 duplex. SMAD2 and SMAD3 together once phosphorylated by the TGF beta receptor upon binding to the TGF beta signaling molecule. And then this small SMAD2 and SMAD3 from there they phosphorylate SMAD4. The activated form of SMAD4 also migrates into the nucleus. And in the nucleus, we have a combination of SMAD2, SMAD3 and SMAD4, all phosphorylated form. Now together, this ARC1 and 2 phosphorylated and SMAD2, SMAD3 and SMAD4 phosphorylated both interact in specific region to the target DNA. And that triggers the activation of and transcription of specific genes which will allow the cell to initiate all the processes that will lead to the cell proliferation, cell division and cellular growth that ensures cellular growth. Now this MAD2, SMAD3 duo which is phosphorylated here can be prevented by another accessory SMAD protein known as SMAD7 and SMURF2. SMAD7 and SMURF2 together can inhibit 
the functionality of SMAD2 SMAD3 proteins to restrict the whole pathway. That concludes our understanding of TGF beta signaling or transforming growth factor beta signaling pathway. I believe you have a clear idea about TGF beta signaling now. If you understand the video and if this video helps you in any way, please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.